Well, good to see you back. Does good that see. mean you're back? <laughs> uh, what are your expectations for this week? You know, I'm just uh, excited to be out there practicing with the guys. It's kind of what I miss the most. Um, just being out there and um, being able to communicate the calls and get the feel of it all again is makes me feel good. So, um, but I feel good. I do. How, what will like? I mean, do you already expect to play, or what will determine that? Uh, I think it just how well I do throughout practice. Um, but me personally, I felt good today. So just continue to build each day. Have you any limitations still, or are you full though? Um, I. I'm just taking it slow, day by day, trying to get better each day. Um, that's kind of the, all the focus I have right now. How are you guys trying to learn about the uh, quarterback for Atlanta? He, uh, the thing about him is he's – luckily he's pretty similar to uh, the guy that we played before. Um, there's obviously things that you can pick from uh, the preseason game, but we um, – he's a very good quarterback, very talented, but um, – I don't think I think that um, as long as we stay to what we're being coached, um, stay true to that. I think that the quarterback's influence will be very similar to um, how we prep for them the first time. Was there any use of looking at his college stuff? Or no? um, I think there is a use. Um, I might dive into that, but I actually did play against him when I was a, a junior at Ohio State, so I got a little feel there. Um, but I think we're. We, we might look a little bit at that, but as far as right now, they have a – Atlanta's got a different offense than Cincinnati, so we're, we're looking at um, Atlanta. Hey, how would you describe uh, just like the kind of day-to-day -day vibe in that linebacker room and you know, kind of the way you guys operate? I think there's a – it all starts with Coach Hodges. He does a great job. He's a, he knows how, he's a very good coach and motiva motivates us very, very well. Um, it's all credit to him, but – as far as the, the vibes from um, every one of us, I think that we complement each other super well to the point where um, we're, able to cap we're able to accomplish many things, and I think that's always a good thing. Um, but it, it all starts with Coach Hodges, and um, he does a great job with communicating to us. And at the end of the day, it's on the players to go out and execute, but um, I think it's, we, we comp complement each other very well. Um, but it, again, it starts with him. I've heard him say there's like some like high level, it's just like football conversation in there that happens a lot. There is. Guys ideas over each other. Yeah, there, we'll get into some 10, 15 minute uh, conversations, not even about the game plan, just talking about next level uh, football um, terminology and different run fits, whatever it is. But um, we kind of see that as more important than um, the different talks that we have about the, our game plan. So there's an next level talk, and it's it's made me a better player. So I definitely credit that. Just getting back to Ritter, you talked about being very talented. Um, and obviously, talent, talent manifests itself in a number of ways. What, are there any specific things you just remember? Any specific impressions that the way he played made on you when you played against him or when you watched him on film? I just, I just he, he's, he's a smart player. He, he's accurate with the ball. Um, he can make plays out of nothing. And he's, he's going to be looking to scramble if that, that read's not open. Um, so we just got to be smart with our, our rush, our coverage, and I think it'll all take care of itself. That's going to be um, just what he was able to do on the field. Was it impressive since you, know, you guys were pretty much in the same state, same colleges, what he was able to do collegiately with his career? And name very very impressive. impressive. Very, exactly. very impressive. Yeah. Um, you talk, a team like Cincinnati to get the chance to and led by him to go to the playoff. I mean, all due respect, like he is a very, very good player. So we, we got a we got a handful this week, and we got a we got to go out and execute. But um, he's a very good player. I know it's his first start, so we gotta we gotta do a good job. Is there any advantage to that with him being his first start? Like, is that advantage to y'all? Um, there's many different ways you could look at it. We don't necessarily have a great feel for him. No team does, and. Um, they could possibly do something different with him. So I think uh, – I don't think we necessarily look at it as far as advantage. At the end of the day, it's um, going to come down to how well we're going to execute our job when it comes to Sunday. What are your thoughts about how Caden's played the opportunities? Excellent, excellent. Demario said it best, um, is that he's the guy, one of the best players that nobody ever kind of knew about. Like he's – he comes out every single day, competes, plays super hard. He's strong. He's smart. Um, 
I learn a lot from a lot from him. He's a, he's a very good player, um, and we gotta we gotta keep him on the field because he he's balling. So I like that. What have I? Just different techniques. Um, I feel like as linebackers, there's so many different perspectives you get as a player as far as different alignments and tech techniques that I might see something a little bit different than him. He might his footwork might be a little bit different. The way his hand movements and his eyes, the way he keys certain things, there's just different little tips that you can get from linebackers. But it's hard to ask this without getting you to reveal any strategy. But I mean. Wanting to use all three linebackers, could that take some adjustment to different alignments for, for guys and stuff like that? I, I don't think I'm going to go into yeah, yeah. that. <laughs> uh, with four games left, um, you know, which was kind of the, the mindset you guys are as, as a team are trying to take? We're, we're, our mindset is win each day, and we're going 4-0 from this point on. Whatever happens, happens.